I'm in AX7 here. Let's have a look at creating a new released item. So there's a few workspaces that you could use uh, to create a new item. So one of them in this example I'm going to use is the category and product management for example. So I'm going to go into there. So what I see here is basic sort of details about the product um, in terms of categories, queues and stuff like that. And I can see for example assortments and I can see release products for example. So this will be the list of the release products. Now if I wanted to create a new release product I can come up to new and then I could say release product for example. This is going to pop open the, the new uh, release product window so I can say X102 whatever my item details are and start to fill them in. So let's go and populate our basic details. Alright, so it's a basic each item, got our basic uh, reference groups configured and we can say OK. So at which point the item's created, obviously we can now start to go and fill in its properties like I can put in an item price. Um, and if you've been using AX 2012, obviously the fields um, you're going to be very familiar with, it's just the new UI and layout for example. So. In this case we've got a basic purchase price and sales price. I can go and configure basic details like the default order setting for example. Um, again same field, uh, a different layout that I'll find in uh, AX7 as well. I could fill in the site specific order settings so I can fill in the site and let's say for example the primary purchase inventory and in sales warehouse is 21. Um, so we get a site specific setting. So that's a new item created. Um, if I go and try to filter we'll find it in the list as a new item. So that's one way which is the category and product management workspace. Now if you have been using AX2012 you might be wanting to find the menu and of course I've still got the product information management menu. Um, you'll still find the actions here which is release products for example. So I can go into release products and um, I can come up to new here for example and this will be familiar if you've used AX 2012. Obviously the look and feel is different so uh, X103, X103 for example um, as well I can fill in my reference field. So we can pick our posting, uh, pick how we're going to manage in the warehouse if we need pick any tracking dimensions. Alright so it's a basic each item and that's going to open up the released item so then we can go and configure it. So we can put a basic purchase price for example, put a basic uh, sell price if that's what we need to configure. Obviously the values you need to go through and configure. We can configure our default order so this is a purchased uh, product. So I can go and configure the site that we're going to purchase inventory and sell this which will allow us to do our site specific settings. So I could say our warehouse is 21 for purchase inventory and sale for example. So that's essentially our new item created. Obviously there's a lot more values that you want to review in terms of how do you really work with this item for um, purchase, distribution and sale for example. Um, but that's our item in the system. We can save it and then we can close it out. So if we have a look at um, the filter list, we're going to find a new item and then we can go and work with it. So the items in the system are pretty much ready, we could go and include that on the order. So that's a quick look at two ways to create a uh, release product in uh, AX7. Um, so in this case we looked at the category and product management workspace and of course navigating to the product information management and released product areas of AX.